Hi everybody, let's talk about the next steps for our travel advertisements. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about adding video, yay, instead of just these still images, which are nice, but they're just images. So we're gonna add some movement first with video. Now, the great thing is there's this lovely thing here called stock media. And you click on that and you can search for so many different things. This example, I'm using Ireland. So I'm just gonna search for Ireland in the word and hit return or enter. And all these different ones that have seconds. So like these ones that say like 30 seconds, 15 seconds, um, those ones are video. And if I scroll down ones that don't have that time, those are just images. So all these ones at the top are all video. And if I want to preview any of them, I just click and it will show me a preview of that video. So all you have to do is just click and drag some of these in. So find a couple you like. One key thing I always think about um, making any video is you always want to have your shots switch after about five seconds. So you don't want things to go on for a very long time because it just gets boring. So five seconds is good. I'm going to grab, ooh, I'll maybe even do the Ireland flag waving at the end. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do after I get some video in, and I will point out for those of you that cannot find video, because some you may have chosen some place that's so specific you can't find something. Although like Las Vegas, if I search for that, there's going to be lots of options. Um, most large cities and countries you'll find things. But if you can't find anything, you are welcome to just add more images. So that's fine too. And actually under stock media, you could add more of the images um, below under stock media as well, if you'd like. All right. Now, what are we doing with all this? I'm going to zoom in a little bit, not too much. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down to 30 seconds or less. This is an advertisement and most ads are 30 seconds or less that go on TV and even ads online are like really short now. So we're going to cut it down to 50 or 50, uh, 30 seconds, um, is the max. Uh, it should be at least 20 seconds though, with all of your clips and images, five seconds long max basically. So like right now, this clip is too long to adjust the length of a clip. So like, I really like this clip as it like moves over the side here. To adjust the length, all I have to do is you can click and drag to shorten a clip. So I'm going to click and drag that side and then see how as I drag this, it shows me how long the clip is. So I'm going to drag it so it's just five seconds, about five seconds. Same with this one. Let's see. I'm going to grab, I like the beginning of it. So maybe I'll grab the first five seconds or so. And then my last one here, um, I will go with another five seconds. Something like that. That's okay if it's not exact. But you'll notice as you like roll over each of these, it'll show you how long that clip is. So like these images defaulted when you put them in, it defaults to five seconds. Now, some of you put more images in already. That's great. You can have as many images and as many videos as you want, as long as it caps at 30 seconds. So you may find, oh, I want to have this, you know, this image, maybe I just want it on for three seconds, you know, it doesn't have to be um, five seconds. Now, a quick tip, if you do that, to move everything over here over, you can select things at once by clicking and dragging and making like a box that selects more than one clip. And now when I click and drag, it'll move all of them over. And what's nice is it kind of, it'll kind of automatically snap them together. So it should make it pretty easy. So right now I've got just about 30 seconds. I want more than 20 seconds but no more than 30 seconds. So I'm pretty happy with this.
Maybe I'm like, I even want this one to be three seconds too. And I'm going to move these guys over. All right. Now, once you've done this, the next step is adding some motion to your images. Because you'll notice if you play this, it's kind of dull just looking at images that are still when then you have these videos that move. Like, look at how much cooler that is to look at, right? And it makes the images look really boring. <laughs> so, how do we make the images move? That's the next step. So let's take one of these images. I'm going to start with this one. Because this one... I already have my text moving over it. Maybe I don't need that image to move. So I want you to at least move a couple of your images. So to do that, I'm going to click on, basically I'm going to just double click on one of my images. And this brings up all sorts of options. Now, here's the beautiful thing. There is an animation option right here. And it makes it really easy to animate this. So to animate it, you click on the start and you say, okay, at the start, I want it to be, maybe I want it to be like zoomed in. So this is one way you can do this. You could say, okay, I'm going to have it zoomed in at the beginning and at the end, I'm going to have it zoomed out. And if I play that, now I have motion here. So it's not so boring. Now, aside from that, I'm going to save that. So you could have it zoom in and zoom out like that, or you could also move it. So let me do the same thing. I'm going to go here to animation for this image. And this time, instead of um, zooming, I'm going to move the image. And actually, I can, let's see. Uh, but, but, but I want to actually make it bigger first. Let's see. Oh, what I want to do is make it larger. So actually, I'm just going to set it to like 1.5. And then what I want to do is, let's say I'm like, I want it to move from this position to, and I want to keep the same scale. I don't want it to zoom. I just want it to move from like the bottom right hand corner to the upper left. So like if I play that, now it's going to kind of move across this image. That's another easy way you can create motion. It's just by like having it move across the image instead of zooming in or zooming out. So you should do that for at least a couple of your images, um, but you might not wanna do it for your first image since you're gonna have text over it and it might be a little intense to have a moving background. So, so far if I play this, I've got my title, I've got several different clips, now my images move, it's a little more interesting, um, and I've got all these other moving videos. And even as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, you know what, I don't know, those videos are a little bit long, maybe I would edit those. But what do we need to do besides this? So we're getting a, you know, we're having a better video going on here, but there's one more key thing we should do um, for sure at this point, which is add transitions. So transitions are right up here. And for transitions, there's all sorts of options. There's standard ones, additional ones. Um, the most basic one is crossfade. And honestly, that's the easiest one to use because it just looks kind of natural and it's used in a lot of uh, most of the stuff we see we see crossfade so all you do is you click and drag it and you drag that between or at the end of something you want it to fade so like i'm like okay i want it to fade here i want it to fade here and actually it's easier if i zoom in but basically i'm saying okay i want it to fade between each of these uh, clips and I'll do it here. You can also, if you click on this, you can change how long you want it to be. Um, that's an option as well. You can also have a fade at the beginning and the end if you want. And that will basically, because there's no clip on the other side, it'll fade out to black. So what does this look like? So basically when you play this, you'll see a preview. 
you may find that you're like, ooh, this is too fast as you play this more. You know, you can always go back in and adjust this. So maybe I'm like, you know what? I really just want it to move like a little bit from here to maybe just like here. And then it'll just kind of more slowly move across. That's a little better. So anyway, feel free to adjust as you play with this. You may find though when you play this that it might look weird. Like this zooms like all the way out, which is strange. Um, I think that happens because it hasn't finished rendering. So rendering is just a fancy word for it, like um, actually like making the complete video because we see like a preview here. It's like kind of blurry um, and it's just basic. That's because it, um, it takes processing power for it to like go through and actually make all of these effects happen. So you may just find that, um, you may find that <laughs> some things look weird here. They should look fine once we actually like export this, but we don't need to worry about that for now. Okay. So you're gonna get transitions in there. But um and what else are we doing? Well, the last thing we're doing is credits. We do want to credit two people, you and the uh, creator of that um, music you used. So at the end, I'm going to add text. And you'll notice there's different options. If you go to motion, there's all sorts of things in here. But for this first practice one, I would say let's not worry about making like scrolling credits, although here are some like basic credits that aren't moving. Let's just grab these. So under static end credits, I'm going to grab those and drag them in here. Obviously, it does not need to be this long. Again, try to keep things to like five seconds or less. You don't want anything too long. And let's see, I'm going to double click on this. And here I'm going to change the text. So I'll say created by, because we didn't really direct it in this case. So we're just going to say created by and then your name. And then we'll say music by bensound.com. I believe that's what it is. And you can move this if you want. Maybe you're like, well, I want it kind of more down a little bit. You can change the size if you want, make it bigger. Um, you can, you know, you can adjust any of this you want. You can change the font as long as we can read it. Don't go crazy with some weird font that we're not going to be able to read well. Like, I don't know, this is a little intense. Um, but yeah, as long as it's, you know, legible, easily read. Um, and if it cuts something off, just adjust this box. And yeah, suddenly I have credits. I just go to save. And then now if I play this, it fades into my credits. And then I'm going to have it fade out as well. So let me go back to transitions and I'll do one more fade at the end. And now it fades out. Done. That's where we're going to stop today. We're going to finalize sound next time, but these are the things to work on with your time today. And um, yeah, I think that's it.